and perform hand hygiene. Hi, my name's Rachel. I'm going to be doing your physical exam today. Do you have any questions for me before we start? No, no, I don't. Okay. I would provide privacy by pulling the curtain. Um, I would start with um, taking the measurements of... Wait a minute. I would start with a general survey, which is where your teacher is going to ask you a few questions about their general appearance. Then I would measure your height and weight on the scale in there. I'd also measure your vital signs, including temperature, pulse, respirations and blood pressure in both arms ideally and I would also measure your visual acuity using the Snellen chart have you stand 20 feet away cover one eye at a time and you read the smallest line that you can so then after that I would begin your physical exam with your head I would inspect it first for any deformities or like lumps or bumps or anything I don't see anything so if you could smile for me frown Okay, don't let me open your eyes. Good. And puff out your cheeks. Okay, that's cranial nerve 7, your facial nerve. So that's intact, which is good. And I'm just going to feel your head now. Same thing for any lumps or bumps. Okay, that's good. And I'm just going to feel your sinuses now. Just tell me if you have any pain. Any pain? Mm -mm. Okay. No. <laughs> Very pain. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move um, to your eyes now. And I would, I'm going to darken the room. Is that going to mess it up? Okay. Actually, that doesn't do it. Okay, I would darken the room and have you stare at a spot in the wall behind me. I'm just going to shine the light in your eye. checking your direct and consensual light reflex. Yours is good. I just need you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes. Okay, and that's checking for accommodation. And follow it again with just your eyes. Okay, that's uh, cranial nerves three, four, and six are your six cardinal positions of gaze. So that's good. I'm gonna, oh wait, and measure your pupils with this little card. Pull it up to your eyes. There are about four millimeters, which is normal. And I'll go to your ears. <laughs> I'm going to have you face that way. I'm just going to pull your ear up and back. Okay, and I'm looking. I'm looking for the tympanic membrane that's pearly gray with the cone of light in the anterior inferior quadrant. I'd also be checking to see if the canal is clear. Same thing on this side. And the canal is clear. See the pearly gray tympanic membrane with the cone of light in the anterior inferior quadrant. Okay, and then I would change the speculum on this and check in your nose. First, I would check the paint C of your nose if you could blow out. Okay. okay. <laughs> and I'd be checking the outside too for any lesions or um, deviations. I don't see any. I would look up your nose, um, look at the septum for any deviations or perforations. So look at the mucosa, which should be pink and moist with no lesions. And the terminates. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to your mouth next. I'm just going to look inside of me. I'm just checking uh, your gums and your teeth and the mucosa in your mouth. And can I be lift up your tongue? Okay. Good. And 
and stick out your tongue and say, oh. Ah. Uh, okay. Check your throat, and it sh should also be pink and moist with no lesions, and your teeth should be present and white, which they were. And then I would tickle the back of her throat with my tongue depressor to check for your gag reflex, which is cranial nerve nine. And can I have you say ah again, stick out your tongue? Ah. Uh, okay, and your uvula rose in the midline, which is cranial nerve 10. Can I have you stick out your tongue? Good. And that's protrudes in the midline, which is cranial nerve 12. Cool. Now your neck, I'm gonna move on to your neck. I'm just gonna feel your trachea, sorry my hands are cold. Okay. And that's midline, which is good. I'm going to palpate your lymph nodes now. Um, Preauricular, postauricular, occipital, submental, submandibular, jugular digastric, superficial cervical, deep cervical. Can you turn your mm -hmm. face this way? Okay, feel that way. Posterior cervical and supraclavicular. Okay. Thank you for raising your shoulders. You're okay. okay. I'm gonna feel your carotid pulses now. <laughs> so two plus bilaterally, which is normal. I'm just gonna check to see if there's a bruise in those. You could hold your breath when I touch my stethoscope to you. Okay, you can breathe. This side. Okay. We didn't hear breweries, which is good. Now, if you could just turn your head against my resistance and raise your shoulders. That's the cranial nerve 11. I'm going to move to your back now. And you're going to feel me just tapping on your back. Okay. I'm listening for resonance over your lungs. In resonance, which is normal and should be flat over your bones. I'm just going to tap on your back now over your kidneys and tell me if you feel any pain. You no pain. pain. No pain. Okay. I'm going to listen to your lungs on the back side. Just take a deep breath through your mouth whenever you feel my stethoscope touch your back. Okay. And you would do this on bare skin, not through your shirt. and then eight spots front and back. So I'm going to move to the front now.